All right, here's a quick uh, explanation of what I'm doing. I had a control line yesterday that you can see from here that carries through here. You see it again here on my blue line. If you want to call that my X, and call my control line from here to here my Y. My Y established the longest run. My X is shortest. I had a, a strip like this screwed right along here so I could butt this tile straight into it. Bang! Then I just freehand worked it off of it as I went across. Same thing this way. I had a strip right on this line that I just butt the tile to and didn't have to use the spacers because the tiles aren't precisely cut. So you kind of kind of got to fudge a little bit here and there, but that control line is critical because I start in the middle basically by doing this and work my way out. That way if I get deviation, it doesn't collectively add up to a lot because I'm right in the middle both ways. A little bit left, a little bit right, so on and so forth. Anyway, I don't have to worry about control line here now because I had it and it's built in now. Now this one, getting ready to start. First tile going to be freehand drop that one in and then the two longest tiles on this section that I'm doing one at a time of this pattern, this New Hampshire pattern, one, two, three, and four, the first section, my control line will be established. And once that's set, I'll work off of it again and again. Like I said, all my tiles are sorted out, so I only have a pile of damage. That way I don't snatch one and not, not recognize it when it's too late. Now I'm getting ready to mix up. What I come up with mixing is this flex bond which is a, should be a 50 pound bag, typical bag that you get, however many pounds it is. Anyway, the way it breaks down is, pretty sure this is a gallon can. It's an old Sherwin-Williams paint bucket that will exactly hold one quarter of this bag. You can fill it into a five gallon mud pail or four and a half, whatever you want to call it, four times. And, and what I do to mix it up is, I take a two liter soda bottle and bring it up to approximately the top of this line of the label itself. They're pretty much all in the same place. But that gives me pretty damn close to what I need for water when I mix this up. I may add just a smidgen, a little bit more, half a cup or something to fine tune it. But that's it. So I put the water in, I put a pre-measured quarter bag in there at a time, which covers four foot by four foot approximately, 16 square foot of tile at a time. That way I'm not getting too much made up at one time and I can stop anytime I want without having a whole lot of waste. And uh, basically I use a half inch Milwaukee Magnum and a little paddle like that and I put it in there just to keep it from drying on there. It makes it easy to clean up. And anyway, there you go. I'm getting ready to set up, mix a bucket, small bucket, little jobber bucket. Mix it again five minutes later and then go at it, trowel it out, do a section, stand back, look at it, make sure I don't have any problems, and then go on to the next. So I got one, two, three, and then I'm getting into the corner right here, and then it's going to be all field cuts around the radius, along the border, which they're easy, nice straight cuts. These are the ones I got to find too. I'll probably sit and uh, hand grind these dry fit them and hand grind them until I get them right. So these will take the longest, but I'll get to that sometime after all these set up that I do today. Anyway, that's my plan for the day. Later. The how to Earl's way. All 90s, all